Today is the anniversary of a technological achievement that didn't get a lot of media attention because it happened so late in the year. For decades, engineers had wondered if it were possible to fly all the way around the world on one tank of gas. The consensus was that a plane would have to be so big to hold all the fuel, it would be too heavy and wouldn't fly because it would be too fat. But in 1986, a radical new plan was shown by engineers Bert and Dick Rutan. During the previous five years, Dick and test pilot Gina Yeager had taken a new plane through its paces. They attempted an around-the-world flight after perfecting the Voyager. They took off from the Mojave and were in the air for a little over nine days. Their plane was made of lightweight fiberglass and carbon fiber and didn't even weigh a thousand pounds. But when it was loaded with people and gas, it weighed about 2,200 pounds. Voyager had front and rear propellers powered by separate engines. Ironically, much of the flight went around the widest circumference of the Earth with the greatest winds and sometimes bad weather. But they took no shortcuts. So they landed 35 years ago today. But many lost sight of the flight because there was so much else going on at the time and the networks had already put their year-end shows to bed, as they say. I'm Dennis Daly.